Ryojin C is a manga written by Katsuhiro Otomo, aka the creator of Akira, and it was directed by Hiroyuki Kitakubo. So this movie, it's a great anime movie. It did not give me Akira vibes, but the animation and stuff, it came out in 1991. You know, it looks really nice. I'm a big fan of old school animation for some reason. Maybe it's because I grew up with the original Dragon Ball Z when it was airing on TV and stuff. Or maybe it could be another reason. I just like the artistic choices and stuff in older animation. Now, you could see when some animes or movies are outdated uh, with the hairstyles like hairstyles is definitely one of the easiest things to pick up on now Ryojin C is a movie set in the 21st century there's robots and stuff and the main character is Haruko and Haruko she takes care of this old man named Kiyuru Takasawa now Takasawa is 87 years old he's old hospital ridden Haruko and her friends are nurses and stuff they work in this hospital and she was assigned to take care of him but then one day basically Takasawa's I guess depend not dependence like the people that his family signed something and let this department of health basically you know signing up for a program and test out this new robotic model called the C001. Now the C001, it was presented to the students at the university and stuff. And it basically does all the functions that an elderly person needs, like gives them food, gives them baths, you know, helps them go to the toilet. It does all of that. And everybody's in wonder and shock, like, oh man, this is the future. This is really amazing. And that is one of the themes of this movie, like the future, what it holds, and what robots could bring to the table. Now, something interesting that Haruko says in the film is, okay, the robot does all the, these things, but where's the emotion? How about Takasawa's feelings? Because literally, this robot is like a bed, and the person is like strapped on the bed, and that's it. Like, it doesn't really care about who it's helping, it doesn't have any emotions, it's just a robot, it doesn't talk to you, it doesn't do anything, and that is one of Haruko's biggest concern. And now the person that created C001 doesn't really care about that as long as the robot is working, and that's all. So it's kind of a glimpse of what people in the 90s thought the future will look like maybe 10 20 years from there because this came out in 1991 like robots are going to be caretakers they're going to be emotionless and all that stuff because robots don't have emotions and yes they'll care for the elderly but at what price like you can't really form a connection with a robot is what one it's one of the things that this film was trying to say obviously later on the film it kind of changes because C-001 takes the personality of Takasawa's dead wife, you know, when he was younger and stuff, he had a wife, and I guess his wife died, and it does take that personality and cares for Takasawa, but the regular C-001 mo model without any personality is like a robot caretaker, and that's it. Now... I thought this was a really great film because this is a possible future, you know, something like this could happen maybe 10 or 20 years from now as, you know, more people are getting older and older and are in need of care. And I don't know the amount of people that go into the nursing field and stuff to help elders. But it could be increasing, it could be decreasing, I'm not sure. But I definitely do see robots in the far future actually being so advanced that they could help you do, you know, everyday tasks and stuff. So, yeah. So later down the film, it turns into good versus evil, Z001 versus this other um, robot. I, I don't know the official name of it, which is basically the military weapon of it. And basically, Z001 was created as a prototype to the military version they have this big fight and at the end they all go to the beach because that is where Takasawa wanted to go that's where Takasawa's wife um consciousness in C001 wanted to go and that was the end of the movie I thought it was a really fun movie to watch it was a nice sci-fi movie and I like Haruko and there was a dude there that's from Haruko's class that he wanted to tell Haruko how he feels about her, but he never got the chance to. Um, I feel bad for him. But yeah, it was a really nice movie to showcase that, okay, the future with robots and stuff may seem like a good thing, but what do we lose when we introduce robots into these industries and stuff? Like, what do we lose emotionally? Yes, productivity and all that stuff could go up, 
but at the end of the day, it still affects, it still impacts somebody. Now, that was it for my review of Rio Jin C. If I were to give this a rating, it would definitely be an 8 out of 10. Really great movie. I believe it's only over an hour long, not that long, and you should check it out if you haven't done so already.